All right, these are a little harder um, because there's actually a hidden force there, right? It's it's vertical acceleration, and the hidden force that no one knows about, right? Exactly. Is it's, is the force of gravity? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the sixty five newtons is definitely a force upward, right? Tension is not like this mysterious thing. It's just a force in a string. Um, strings can't push, but no. they can pull. And so the force they pull with is 65 newtons. So we just, if they say tension of 65 newtons, it's just, it's just an upward force of 65 newtons. Now, obviously, up is going to be positive. Okay, it's always positive. So that's positive 65 newtons. But is that the only force acting, Mr. Duggan? No, there is another force that's acting in the downward direction, and that's going to be its weight. There we go, yeah. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. See? So, and how do we figure that out? Well, it's going to be the mass times G. That's why we taught them how to calculate weight right uh -huh. before this video, right? So M times G, so 5 times 9.8. I don't need a calculator for that. That's, That's 49, 49 newtons. Okay, so this force is 49 newtons. Okay, and it's down. Okay, so these, these things always look like this. It's always force minus the weight, right, equals ma. That's, That's right. what they, they always are. So it's always F equals ma. It's always the force minus the weight equals ma, right? Yeah, so because that's the net force. Yeah, there we go. It's more than one force. So our force up is 65 minus the weight down, which is 49, and it's going to be equal to 5 times a. So 65 minus 49 is going to be 16 equals 5 times a. And then we just divide both sides by 5. Yep. And then we come up with our answer, and the acceleration is going to be 3.2 meters per second squared. So it's going to be accelerating up. There we go. Yeah, so in this case, the tension's bigger than the weight. So it makes sense that it's accelerating up now. Given that it's accelerating up, remember, that's just the acceleration. That's not the direction it's moving. It could be starting from rest and accelerating up, it could also be moving down and stopping, correct? Correct. Right, so those, both those scenarios could be moving up or moving down, but it's accelerating up, right? So, so that's, that's the important thing, right? So in the elevator, if an elevator is going down, down, down to the lobby and it stops moving down when it gets to the lobby, you weigh a little bit more, right? Yep. There we go.